lots, but some in Roselawn say the organization's future uh, plans in that neighborhood have gone too far. Walter Smith shows us what has them concerned. In Roselawn, the message is loud and clear. No new Talbert House! These neighbors are not happy with the Talbert House's plan to turn this soon-to-be vacant building into transitional housing. We're being preyed upon, and it's time for it to stop. The Talbert House wants to transform this one-story building into a three-story safe haven for 58 families who are facing homelessness. Ronald Mosley questions why Roselawn was chosen. We as concerned residents want to say so in what is being inputted in our community. Right now, at this particular point in time, we are fighting predatory landlords, prostitution issue, drug issue, nightclub issue. Mosley says the Talbot House plan would only hurt Roselawn's revitalization efforts. While these protesters have made their objections known, some neighbors who live in the apartment complex right next door say if Roselawn doesn't accept the transitional housing into their community, who will? Roselawn, yes, like any community, it has things that needs to be cleaned up. But who's, who's going to take the step to help them? That's my question, because I'm willing. In a statement, Talbert House leaders say, in part, we have informed the community of our interests and hope to work with them to create quality housing that is a stabilizing force. Who's going to be the stand-up man to get involved? For these protesters, hopefully someone else. There are certain neighborhoods where they wouldn't even think about going. Why are they picking on us? In Roselawn, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. And the Roselawn Community Council plans to present a petition to City Hall opposing the plan.